Soft numb, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Let's see what's happening. Okay. Um, yeah, I was hearing that song, Ode to My Family by the Cranberries. That's a really cool song. Uh, I don't know why. It might be a little bit, it, it might be um, a little bit like sad or melancholic or something but i feel like it has some kind of significance energetically i'm hearing to the taste of not just this reading but the situation regarding this reading etc 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 okay the digestion of it so go listen to the song i guess the six of swords nice i feel like you are about to um i just heard move somewhere but i feel like you're about to um I don't I don't want to say leave something behind because that's that that has also that like saddish energy but I feel like you're about to move past something completely okay and the reason why I don't want to say leaving something behind is because that energy doesn't even exist in the situation okay like there, 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 there's nothing sad about you moving, or there's nothing sad about you continuing, or um, maybe even something transpiring. Okay. And if you found that you, if you found that this is regarding a certain cyclical situation, I feel like in the past it usually had this like sad connotation to it. <clears throat> Or there was some kind of sadness or guilt or something that kept you from uh, actually moving, okay? From actually moving forward. Or backwards. It doesn't even, it doesn't even matter because like, like no negative connotations. I feel like that's very important. I feel like you finally... I also did see Judgment and the Wheel of Fortune before starting the reading. Just checking at the deck. I feel like you are about to, you're about to just experience a, a, a forward movement in no way but positivity. Or you are experiencing this forward movement in no way but positivity, okay? No more like, no more like past negative connotations or, or attachments or anything like that. This feels like a brand new slate kind of energy almost, okay? The King of Cups. This is interesting, like, like, it's almost like this King of Cups energy is giving me some kind of disembodied vibe, almost like Poseidon or something, as in it is the waters that you are sailing on, okay? Like, the ancient Greeks used to pray to Poseidon for fair weather and, like, a calm sea. <clears throat> I'm also getting something about Jesus calming the sea, calming the storm, okay? You know what I'm feeling here? I feel like you're finally able to move. Like I did mention that guilt and that melancholic kind of thing. That's this King of Cups, this emotional energy. It, it like like something, um, like the waves, the emotional waves, or the something like that, like kept kept you busy or something. Okay, and like you're you're finally moving forward because you learned how to not just navigate the waves but like control the waves you know like water bending and shit like that okay and like in your dreams when you see a lot of water or when you bend water or you control water or something like that that is literally you controlling not just the subconscious and the emotional body but the ocean of everything okay the ocean of reality okay Okay, let's get the last two cards. Three of Swords, okay. I never noticed that there's actually some kind of light behind the Three of Swords. I don't know if that's just in this card, in this deck, but you see there's always this some kind of like a light coming from the clouds. I never noticed that. The Three of Swords was, is like usually such a scary energy to, to uh, receive, right? And the Eight of Wands, okay. And the Ten of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Wands, Ace of Cups. 
The Fool of the World all the way to Seven of Pentacles. Um... Like, every time I, I get a download or a thought that there was, like, a message, and then, like, Nine of Cups, and every time, like, the message comes, I'm like, okay, but then it, like, leaves, or, or like, not leaves, it grounds in, rather, okay? So there's a lot of, like, messages around you, a lot of input and, like, reception and shit like that, okay? Let me take a sip of my tea. Where was I? <clears throat> so yeah like this eight of wands is giving me some kind of magical energy for sure and the, here is this energy that you kind of that you're like um completely leaving behind right this wheel of fortune with this ten of wands like this is something you're completely past because you have this higher perspective ace of cups this is you water bending through the six of wands i didn't see that but this is you literally water bending um the 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 i don't know the tsunami of fucking uh, heartache or the tsunami of um ace of swords like the again that ocean of reality or something there is about to be a very swift movement in regards to something that was really aching you like it was truly truly aching you it was really keeping you from taking action in a certain direction because you kept needing to like hold the tsunami at bay or some shit like that right there's there's about to be some kind of very swift um i don't know like it's like maybe it's kind of like going into avatar state and then like you're you're done holding the thing back and you're just like okay i'm done now and you just like put it back where it is like the whole fucking ocean you're like okay something like that like you're dropping a ten of wands by basically telling the ten of wands like fuck you just lay there and then it's not a ten of wands anymore but the ten of wands is the tsunami what the fuck <laughs> This energy, this energy feels like it might have been very, um, not dreamlike, but very, like, um, like, maybe Pisces-esque. It was like you, like, it was like, like, almost like having to see in the deep, dark ocean or having to gain light in the deep, dark ocean or something, okay, as well, okay. Or, like, learning this ability to really navigate this, like, weird water space was something very um, dark or hidden or something like that, okay? And it really took a lot of your concentration or your, like, energy to, to, to focus and keep at bay, etc., etc. But I feel like, like, even this whole thing was some kind of lesson. It was like a, a master class or something for you to fully gain control of this water element okay if you i'm also hearing if you decide or like if you live near water or if you decide to go live near water or something um you should pick up some kind of hydrokinesis uh practice like just sit with the water start talking to it start like vibing with it start trying to move it etc etc okay because um like, it, it's starting off with this, like, very intense emotional situation, could even be spiritual situation, and it's grounding itself, this mastery is grounding itself in, like, an actual um, uh, uh, physical ability, this, this divine ability, okay? The world, yeah, it's like 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 manifesting into your world. So you're gaining some kind of um, very specifically like hydrokinetic ability, okay? Again, because especially if you've been having dreams of controlling water or uh, maybe even just sh swimming in water and shit like that, like but that's just how it starts, okay? Either way, there's there's going to be swift movement in regards to this teaching and also this ability manifest okay cool very 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 cool okay the chariot thank you so much collective that was your thing Boo -doo -boo. 
I was actually singing that song also from The Little Mermaid um, this morning. Um, there you see her, sitting there, you know. So also a lot of water vibes there, okay? Thank you so much. That was your reading. Please consider liking, subscribing, donating, contacting me for a personal reading. Thank you for those of you who have been doing all the things. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye, bye.